This is another pintail, but it happens to be a female. I'm not sure about the age yet, but um, if you look at the wing, she lacks the, uh, the green coloration that the male had. The upper wing and the coverts are, are uh, edged and, and uh, not the gray coloration of the male. And even though she shares a lot of, the, of her plumage character with the male, you won't find any vermiculation in here. Um, a little bit more drably colored. Um, we were looking at spotting on bills on mallards. Um, pintails follow along in that, in that if you see spotting, like this gal has, even on the underside, you're most likely looking at a female. It's not a 100% rule, but between the spotting on the bill and the wing, um, I know I'm dealing with a female. These are both pintails. Uh, we've got a female in my hands, and Jim has a male. And if you look at the, the uh, upper parts of the wings, there's some huge difference in the male coloration with the gray. Um, the speculum has an iridescent green to it, whereas the, the uh, female here is um, headed toward being a nice uh, bronze iridescence, but she's not going to have that green. Um, much more drably colored on the hen. He's going to undergo a tremendous amount of change from what you're looking at now. He'll have a snow white chest and he'll actually have a rust, russet colored head. Um, it's hard for me to even describe what he's going to look like when he, when he gets his uh, breeding plumage in, winter plumage vastly different than the hen. She's not going to change a whole lot from what she is right now.